Hello and welcome to Strong Body, Strong Mind. We are here. Uh, yeah, we're here for Strong Body, Strong Mind. Let's get that camera and angle at the right spot. Um, for today's workout, you're going to need a selection of weights. Here in the dynamic portion, we will be starting with some kettlebell swings. Um, we'll do a little bit of jumping. I don't know, maybe we won't. <laughs> we'll see how I feel about that. When we get into the other work, you can use a mixture uh, of either kettlebells or dumbbells. So whatever feels best for you there, okay? Um, let's go ahead and drop down, quadruped position, so hands and knees, and what am I doing with my clock? I don't even know. Here we go. There's the right setting. Okay, in quadruped position, hands and knees, we'll start with some nice easy cat cows. As you exhale, spine pulls up towards the ceiling. As you inhale, belly pulls down towards the floor. Let your neck be a part of that, tucking the chin in your cap. As you inhale, lifting the chin, opening up your chest. Three more. And just begin to gently wake up your body. Check in with yourself. How have you slept? How have you fueled yourself? Where are your stress levels at? And of course, where are you at in your cycle? From here, we're gonna turn those toes under, lift up and push up and back into a downward facing dog. Begin to pedal out your feet. Again, using all of these mobility drills, mobility aspects, as a chance to check in with your body. What's feeling tight? Does one side feel tighter than the other? All of those good things. Today for our down dog to runner's variation, we're gonna keep the left foot on the floor. You're gonna go ahead and lift the right leg towards the ceiling. And then from here, you'll exhale, bring it up to the outside edge of that right hand, twist, Hand back to the floor, lift it back up into the air. We'll do a total of five of these on each side. Big twist as you push back to that three-legged dog. I don't know why they call it a three-legged dog. I guess I get, I get it now. <laughs> I now get it. As you push back to the three-legged dog, push tall through your shoulders. We've got two more here. Big twist, opening up those hips. Last one. Step it forward. Awesome. Hand to the floor. Back to your down dog. Settle in for a second. And then as you're ready, lift that left leg. Bring it up to the outside edge of the left hand. Perfect. Hand back down to the floor. Lift it back up. Step it forward. For two. For three. Four, one more. Five, excellent. Stepping back to your downward facing dog. We're gonna go ahead and separate those feet nice and wide. Walk the hands back towards your feet and then drop into a nice deep squat. Elbows to the inside edges of your knees. And we're just gonna rock side to side. I used to call this prying. That's another way to think of it, you're prying. Just exploring how the adductors feel, how your ankles feel. Hands to the floor, lift those hips up, four full. And we'll go for five of those. Drop those hips back down and lift them back up for two. Drop on down, lift back up for three. Tight <laughs> for four. One more right here. Lift up. For five. Till we have the feet closer together, soften those knees, begin to roll up, finish with a nice big reach overhead, grabbing that right wrist, pull it up and over to the left. Inhale through the center, grabbing the left wrist up and over to the right. One more time, over to the left, and over to the right. Let's take some arm circles, taking that right arm, circling it to the front and to the back and left side to the front and to the back. And the last thing that we're going to do here for mobility type stuff is just some leg swings. If you need to hold on to something for some balance, go for it. We're going to do eight leg swings forward and back on each side. So first side for two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, last one, other side, front and back for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. My left cheek <laughs> is considerably more tender than my right right now because all day yesterday I was demoing single leg deadlift stuff always on my left. Got to get better about that. Okay, so now we're going to go into our dynamic portion. We have 10 kettlebell swings and then we have five drop hinge. Okay, so bringing out a bell that feels suitable for you for this first go around. Parking that bell right out in front, two feet behind, hip width about distance, right? You're going to knock those hips back. We're going to grab the handle, the horns, tip that bell, and here we go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Park it. Whew. All right, and then up on the toes, triple extension and drop and catch for one. Ooh, up on the toes, drop for two, three, four, one more, five. Chill for a second. We'll go through that two more times. That all felt strikingly difficult. Uh, two days after my bleed, I think I'm just feeling a little lethargic, I guess. Yeah. All right. Two feet behind the bell. Second round. Ten swings. Waking up that central nervous system. Here we go. And drop hinge. Reaching up. Catch. One. Catch. Two. Stomp the floor. Three. Four. Five. Chill again. Give ourselves a 20 second step. Little chill break here. And we'll go through one more time. Taking off in 10. Here we are in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Okay. Drop in. Up and catch. Two. Three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. I have a real coffee ready and waiting for me because I knew I was lethargic. I'm going to try not to sip it quite yet. So 45 seconds on the clock, 10 seconds transition, 30 seconds rest in between each of those rounds. We're going to go into a single leg deadlift excuse me, single leg RDL, to a halo. I wouldn't go as heavy as you normally do on your single leg deadlift because we are working for the full 45 seconds on one side, okay? So what this is gonna look like, two hands on the bell. We have, I said it again, but it's an RDL, so don't touch the floor. You're going to clean it, halo, Bring it back, clean it, halo. What I'm going to recommend is that you halo in the same direction. So if I'm on my left leg, I just halo to the right. You could halo to the left, totally fine. But do it all in that one direction on that leg. On the other side, go in the other direction, okay? Another option is staggered stance. From here, clean it, halo, okay? So that'll be an option if balance is kind of getting to you, okay? We then have reverse lunge alternating with a lateral raise. So 
So hold in two dumbbells, again for 45 seconds, choose accordingly. You're gonna step back and lift, alternating your feet. If that lateral raise for some reason doesn't feel great, you could do front raise or you could go into bicep curls, okay? Final one, overhead sit up, two and overhead press, okay? Lots, lots of moves, four moves. Working at a pace that works for you. Again, me being right before my bleed, I'm gonna be moving pretty damn slow, okay? That's me. Take it where you need to go. We take off in 10 seconds. <clears throat> First side in five. In three, two, here we go. So RDL, clean it, halo, repeat. Eighteen seconds. If you lose your balance, it's all good. It's gonna happen. Six. We have five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds. Ooh, that standing leg is burning. Six. Other side. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Nice work, come on. 22 seconds. Eight, seven, oh, six, seven, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> last one, that last one. All right, reverse lunge with lateral raise, four, three, two, here we go. Twenty-five seconds. Come on. We have fifteen. We're gonna have to swap these out for leather weights. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Overhead. Sit up to an overhead press. Take that weight back with you, tap it overhead, bring it to the chest, sit it up. Here we go, three, two, tap it overhead, bring it to the chest, sit up, press, control it back down. Twenty-five seconds. Come on. Thirteen. We're almost there. Come on. Ten. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Feel a little tense right now. This is our break. I'm gonna grab some lighter weights for that lateral raise because that was too much for me right now. This is our break period. We have 21 seconds left, so not too long. Starting back up with our single leg RDL to a halo. Taking up in five. Four, three, two, here we go. Five, 
find a fixed focal point that can certainly help. Twenty two seconds. So good to do this unilateral single leg work. Eight seconds. Woo, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Giddy up, other side. Take it off in five, four, three, two, here we go. seconds. Come on. We have 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Ow. That hurts. It burns. Reverse. Three, two, here we go. Twenty five seconds. Come on. We got this. Push through that burn. 15 seconds. Eight. Nice work. Come on. There we go. We have three, two, one. Sit up. Overhead pull to an overhead press. In three, two, here we go. Twenty-seven seconds. Fifteen. Come on. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here is our break. Take a breath, take some water. We gotta get through one more. <laughs> I feel gassed. It's been a good week of training though, so I guess that also makes sense. 15. All right, last round of these movements in five, four, Three, two, here we go. Twelve seconds. Woo. Come on, we have three, two, and one. Five, or three, we got it. Two, here we are.
18 seconds. Come on. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Six, five, four, three, two, and let's go. Nice work. Perfect. Again, your variations here can be front raise, they can be bicep curl, they can even just be arms down by your side. Do what works for you. Nice, come on. We have 25 seconds. it up. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Really attacking the upper body today. That's where I'm feeling it. Feeling it everywhere actually, but my arms feel dead right now. 25 seconds. Fifteen. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Oh. There is more to the workout. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's more. All right, I'm gonna set the clock and then we'll go over it. <clears throat> so, it's seven minutes, so let's think of it that way. We can do anything for seven minutes, right? Here's where the real coffee comes in. Okay, so what we got are, remember with an EMOM you always want at least, I, I would like this for you, 20 seconds rest. Okay, so if this combination of movements is leaving you with less than that, I want you to peel away some reps. So as written, we have 12 kettlebell swings right into five goblet squats, okay? So just to demo that real quick, I'll do, a, I'll do two swings into a clean. That would be the easiest way to do it, most uh, efficient. So again, you've been swinging, 11, 12, come through, clean and then you're in your goblet, okay? And then from here, we go into just five goblet squats, okay? So 12 swings, five goblet squats, that's our seven minute EMOM. So you do that rep scheme seven times. After that, there's stuff on the board. We're gonna see how we feel. We might just go into like, just some nice like lay on the floor, core work, who knows, which is still torturous. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, you just gotta listen to your body, right? Okay, <clears throat> 10 seconds. We take off in five, four, three, two, here we go. seconds. There you go. Nice work. We have 25 seconds. If you're still working, please rest in three, in two, and one. 20 seconds rest. Six more rounds. Going in 10. That 20 seconds flies by. Five, four, three, two. 
Here we go. seconds. Nice work, girl. Very good. If you're working, rest right now. 20 seconds for us all. Five more rounds. We got it. Taking off in 10. Taking off in five, four, three, two. Here we go. seconds. Nice work. Yes. Pretty consistent there. Very, very good. Resting in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Oh, <laughs> taking off in 10. We got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. seconds. Nice. 25 seconds. Resting in three, two, one. All right. Taking up in 10. Almost there. We can do it. Six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. seconds. Nice. Keep your chest up. You got it. Five. Resting in four, three, two, one. Twenty seconds. Just two more. Woo, we can do it. Ten seconds. Here we go in five, four, three, two, Let's go. seconds so everyone rest going in 13 last time we take off an eight five four three two here we go
resting when you're done. Nice work. We are switching things up for this last one. Okay, we're gonna go into Tabata core. So just using the clock as a timing structure, not as a means to ramp ourselves up into hit. So we're gonna go into our weighted tuck ups and then sit ups. So two movements, so each one of those you'll do four times. So the weighted tuck out, take your weight, doesn't have to be heavy, okay? You're going to be right here. So in a little tiny ball, you're going to lean back, come back up, lean back, come back up. If you really wanted to, you could reach overhead, pull it back in, reach, pull it back in. Yeah, and then we're gonna pair that with weighted sit up. I was gonna switch up real quick, but no. So weighted tuck up to a sit up. The sit up, allow yourself, if, let's say this, if you are having difficulty with doming, coning, anything like that, I want you to still move very, very slow, not necessarily use momentum, but here's a trick. If you're having trouble with a sit up, use a weight and send the weight out in front. Right, pull it out in front and it can help you sit up and still get that great TVA activation, okay? Okay, taking up in seven seconds. This is how we finish for today. That's what I got, okay? We've made it. Taking up in four, three, tuck position, two. Here we go. Ten seconds. We have five, four, three, two, one. Sit up is coming next. Bent legs, straight legs, whatever feels good for you. We take off in five, four, wave it or not. Three, two, here we go. I do ask that you try to maintain and exhale on your way up. We have five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds, so you see these add up. <laughs> these definitely begin to add up. We go in five, four, tuck, three, two, here we go. Kick, pull, kick, pull. 10 seconds. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Adds up. Taking off in five, four, three, two. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Come on. We got two more rounds after this. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Ten seconds, tuck out once again. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Ten seconds. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. And last round, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Twelve seconds. We have five, four, three, two, and one. 35 minute workout, that's what I got today. I feel like I'm complete. <laughs> Let's take those legs nice and wide, just a little bit of a forward fold. If the wide legged forward fold doesn't feel great for you, you can always go to straight legs out in front, like a pike, for five, four, three, two, one. Coming onto our back, lying on our back, figure four, putting that right ankle over the top of the left thigh, Pulling as you push away with the elbow for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and switch it out. Give it a nice gentle pull in. Woo! Yowza! 5, we have 4, 3, 2, 1. That was really tight for me. Keep that right knee into your chest, and we'll do a supine twist. Breathing. Just a quick reflection of your commitment to yourself and showing up for you. Okay? Even on days where, let's switch sides, even on days where we don't feel our absolute best, I would say it's always still a great idea to try Try and show up for yourself in this capacity. <sighs> Moving the body can energize the body. Helps to rebuild, to build actually mitochondria, which are the energy, the powerhouses of your cells. And we want really, really, really healthy mitochondria. Let's take our right arm, gently pull it across the chest. This will be our last stretch for today. <sighs> and switch it up, left side. Keeping that shoulder anchored. Don't let it just get pulled out of the joint. Excellent. We are complete. Nice work. Yeah, great job. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Happy Memorial Day. And uh, still planning on just doing Fridays for the time being. Yep, I just need a little break. <laughs> need to get out on the trails and, and kind of do that stuff. But Fridays I'm still, still committing to. So we'll see you next week. Okay, bye.